How you going guys, Alex Portelli here from Markham. Just uh, going to demonstrate a gel test kit for you today, uh, just to represent what the product Acron is actually doing within the concrete matrix, when it's either spray applied or added to the batching uh, concrete as an admixture. So firstly, what we've got here is we've got some of the Acron colloidal silica treatment, and we've just got some uh, tap water with some bicarb soda in it. Now this is just representing the high alkalinity in the mixed water at the batching plant. So what I'm going to do here is I'll be adding the Acron solution into the um, high alkalinity water and what that's going to do is actually transform into the hydrogel which is the end process and reaction uh, of the mixture once it's spray applied or added as an add mixture. All right, so now that we've added that together, take a couple of minutes to actually go off. This here is actually an exaggerated test. Uh, it won't go off this quickly in a real life situation, but it's basically just to demonstrate what is going to happen inside that concrete matrix when the gel does go off. So as you can see here, the mix has now gone off and it's turned into a hydrogel. Now this hydrogel is what reacts with the calcium silicate hydrate within your concrete matrix to densify it for uh, the life cycle of the project and add more calcium silicate hydrate to your mix. So as you can see here, this is your hydrogel mix. That's happened from the reaction of adding the Acron treatment into the high pH consistency water. The reason that Acron is so unique is that it actually has a unique catalyst in it, which is what's drawing the, uh, the Acron treatment into and reacting with the high alkalinity water in your mix. It almost works as a magnet, so it's an opposite polarity to the high pH, which is drawing it into the concrete, which is how we get deep penetration with our spray applied products and how it mixes throughout in our admixture products. Saving the world, one concrete structure at a time. Markham adding life to concrete.